47 until Jackie Robinson takes the field at it. But it takes the field that had this field. Oxymoron. Up to this point, right. <laughs> to 1919, okay, they were playing the game, but they really didn't have anything really established in the game. No formal leagues. They came up with the Negro Leagues, their own ball players. Then. They formed their own great teams, and this is now we we're going to take a road to Spectacular the teams. You're going to see some of the signs, Homestead Grays, Pittsburgh Crawfords, some of the greatest Hall of Famers that ever played the game. We'll see them later on downstairs, okay? They're plaques. This actually just wanted to point this one out. Yes. Here. This is a belt buckle celebrating the Hillsdale Eastern Colored League Championship in 1923. Probably the oldest artifact from the Negro Leagues that we actually have in this museum. Very hard to find artifacts on the Negro Leagues. Yeah. small craft distillery even in the grand scheme of craft. We'll do 7,000, maybe 8,000 cases in um, 2018. We think we'll do 10,000 in 2019. We are expanding. We have two new stills that will be here by the end of the year and they're going in that room. Up back there, we're moving everything around. We're taking, reclaiming some of that retail space. And we also bought the property. Uh, just a month ago, so um, we have ambitious plans to build a rick house down below. We're on a grade, a steep grade, so we're going to excavate underneath. We're out on grade here and build a rick house for all our barrels. So that's mm -hmm. pretty exciting for us, and we may even put in a new tasting room um, and a little lounge slash restaurant style approach to what we're doing. Okay. So, we are New York State Farm Distillery, as I said. We must use 75% New York State ag products to qualify for that, which is a good thing for us and a good thing for the farmer, which is why the whole program was instituted. By the way, if you're from New York, it was started by Pataki mm. in the early 90s. Mm. And of course, Cuomo's mm. uh, taken the <laughs> reins and run with it in a, in a, a very big way. Um, he's probably done more than Pataki even. Not one of my favorite people, but as far as his craft distilling uh, persuasion, he's pretty strong on everything about New York State wine, beer, and, and spirits. So, anyway, so, but in the Navy world, they had a drink that every boat left port with. It was called Geneva. In guess what? Geneva in Dutch means juniper. So, all gin is juniper essence. Essence, I guess is the word. In fact, the government says if you want to call it gin, it must have at least juniper in it. We don't care what else you put in it, but it has to have juniper. So Geneva left on every boat, and it was in casks, and it probably resembled greatly what this looks like. Mm. And tastes like. Okay? So we didn't even know this as craft guys when we came out with Barrel Gin, and most of my craft guys don't know this story. So I, I always like to stand up and talk to them, even though they're my peers, and say, guys, this is probably what they were drinking in the 1600s, because Geneva was gin, mm -hmm. basically, and it was in a cat. <laughs> Resort Hotel in Cooperstown. This is such a wicked charming hotel. Look at this. Totally excited. And then they had some little chocolates on the bed. Little horse situation. And big screen TV. Hello, darling. And then the living room area. 
you know, I see you have my red wine, another television, the sitting area, which is very genteel. Then you have these two white people right here. I don't know who are also very genteel. And then you have your safe and your robes. Once again, back to the robe situation. I could sit here on my laptop and write. Cooperstown has not seen the last of me. I love it and can't wait to spend more time here.